Hey guys, one take today. Um, today's my first day post phase one and um, when I finish 75 hard, I'm pretty sure I still stuck completely to the program for at least a few days after it finished. I didn't do that today. Um, the only things I dropped were I didn't take the five minute cold shower, I didn't do the visualization for 10 minutes. Um, I didn't do powerless tasks, I didn't do any exercise. So pretty much, oh, I guess, it would have been a short list to say the things that I kept. I ate well today. Um, I didn't eat anything out of the ordinary that I wouldn't normally eat on phase one. I still did meditation, still did movement and mobility, but for the most part I just relaxed. I still read books and stuff like that, but I think I just wanted a day to myself to not have to worry about working out and stuff like that. I've got my little dog next to me. She's cute as always. I've only got four minutes on the memory card, so the second I'm done filming this, I'm going to transfer the clip to my computer and then I'm going to delete a whole bunch so that I don't have to worry about the issue of running out of space anymore. Um, oh, there's something I want to talk about, but it's going to take too long. Um, I had a really good moment today. I'm really working at the moment on myself as I keep talking about in the vlogs as a person. And I used to struggle a lot with road rage. Today a car pulled out in front of me on, and I was going 60 k's an hour and they pulled out in front of me when they didn't really have enough time and um, they were travelling at like 40 k's an hour in front of me instead of about 60 which was the speed limit. And my very first instinct was I felt the anger in me rise or the annoyance in me rise but I immediately said to myself no, don't do that and it's like I visualised reaching up and grabbing that feeling of annoyance or anger, pulling it back down and just letting it dissipate instead of indulging it and letting it out. Um, and like, it was such a powerful thing and it worked immediately when I, um, decided to do it. It was really cool. It was such a great feeling of power, being able to control my emotions like that. Especially if it was something where normally I would be swearing and just, I would feel angry and I would indulge it. I used to be really bad with it. Like, it is so much better with it and I can't help but think it, a lot of it's attributed to the meditation practice that I've taken on this year. That's a cool feeling. Um, it felt good to have a rest day today. Um, my calf feels really tired after my run yesterday, but it feels a lot better now than it did all day today. So I'm hoping by tomorrow I'll be able to go for another run. Um, and Emily and I are hoping to go to CrossFit together because I think her ankle is finally healed enough she can go to CrossFit. Um, so I'm on night shift when Spartan Sprint is on, on the 28th of March. I requested to start night shift on the 29th of March, but they gave it to me a week before because I think there were too many people wanting to start on 29th of March. So it means I'm going to have no sleep at the Spartan Sprint, but it's going to be a good challenge to push through and see how I do with that. Anyway, um, I think I will... I'm not going to... I'm not sure how I'm going to approach like going back into doing phase one type stuff in between phase one and phase two. I think what I'm probably going to do is try and work out twice a day most days, still try and drink four litres of water and eat well and read. Um, I'll drop the five minute cold shower. I'm going to drop the de dedicated visualisation because I feel like meditation is already helpful enough to me and I already pay enough attention to my goals and have enough visceral visualisations and stuff like that that it's not really necessary for me to dedicate 10 minutes to it. Um, I keep checking out what I've got left to film. But yeah, um, I'm determined to... I'm having a big weekend this weekend, I'm not going to lie. And it's not just because 75 hard or because phase one's over. Emily's dad's having a birthday party on Friday night. Emily and I are going to high tea and I'm going to work drinks. And we're going out to try the new restaurant that opened up around the corner on the weekend. So it's going to be a big weekend. I'm probably going to eat bad and drink bad the whole weekend. But I'm going to get it out of my system, enjoy it, and then be mostly good until I start phase two in April. Anyway, I've got one minute left on the the card. I feel so relaxed having not done a whole lot today. I had a two-hour nap when I got home from work. It's like, it's going to be midnight in about half an hour. I'm going to be asleep by midnight and I don't start till 10 a.m. tomorrow, so I'm going to get eight hours of sleep and it's going to be phenomenal. Man, it feels good. Anyway, good night, puppy. I love you. It's raining outside. Such a nice sound. Um, I'm going to go to bed pretty soon, so thank you for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.